Export for re-import is a helpful tool when you need to bulk update records with differing values. Whilst you can do a bulk edit in CRM, you can only set the same values for each field. You can't have differences in those values. So when working in Excel, you can have a higher level of flexibility. Export for re-import can be done a couple of different ways. The first way is through the export to Excel online function, which can be used via the ribbon drop down for export to Excel and then open in Excel in line. From here, you can update the values in the fields. You can sort and, and do anything that you like. And, what if, and once you've done that, you could then press save in the bottom right hand corner. So I might just update the phone number here, add another digit at the end there, and then press save. And what that is going to do is it's going to then go through and re-import the data because it, it's even though it didn't really look like it, it actually did export the data into that format for me. And now it's re-pushing those changes through again only for the data only for the rows where I updated those values. So after a second, I'll just cancel that and then refresh. And within a minute or so, that will then go through and update that value for me. Now, the one caveat when using this function is if someone else is in CRM and updates any of the records you've modified in your Excel file, after you've exported them to Excel, then it would not update those records when you do that save and re-import. The reason being, CRM is always the master data. So if any updates have happened between your export and that re-import, they would not be published. The second option to do export for re-import is to export your view to a static worksheet and make any of the changes you were after. So again, going through that export to Excel dropdown and selecting static worksheet. But what I might first do is actually update my filter just so we, we minimize the number of records. So I'm going to look for only the records that have been created today under the account section. And you'll see we've got five accounts that have been created today. And then I'm going to export those to my static worksheet. And we're going to enable editing there. And we've now got this list here in that nice, easy to use Excel format. And you can make any changes that you're after again. So maybe I'll change this number so it's like that. And this one might be. Oh wait, for example. Again, once you're happy, you then save the record. I'm going to save it to my desktop and then close that down. Next, we need to open the advanced settings area, which will then open this tab here. And then click the drop down and open the data management section, followed by imports. From here, press the import button, and you need to browse for that file that you've just saved there and updated. The key tip here is if it is correctly picked up that you are updating existing records, once you press the next button, you'll see it actually jumps to the last stage of the import and it gives you this nice little header at the top which says this, this action will update existing records and if requ required, create new records. So if that does not come up there, you know that it has, hasn't actually picked up that this is an export for re-import and it thinks it's a brand new import. So it means something's gone wrong in the process there. So definitely keep that in mind and as it can save some headaches down the line. Once happy, you can then press submit. And those updates will go through. So it'll take a second and, and pass those values and then um, update those records for you. Definitely worth keeping an eye on this to see if they've been successful or if there's been er any errors, uh, but they will slowly come through 
over time as it processes those records.